Hello, hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson and I really hope you're not watching these videos one after the other because if not and if you did you have hear me saying hello hello so many times but well let's keep working on this so we're going to jump into the other type of brushes so we're going to select on this case the screen the screen brush and this is a more normal kind of brush it shares all the other nuances of the guide process but changes the main brush type. So we're going to stay and start with the screen brush and just go down. So the screen brush will basically do that, be a brush that let us comp the active areas of the hair. We have a fall off that we will work on a short round or angle way and we have mirroring if we want to affect with mirror. So that's basically a normal groom tool and will be just a basic screen level. So if we do something like this and it's on the border, it will follow. So it's based on the screen. So if you want to have a really small area, it's going to be tricky, but you have the basic settings or the basic viewport configuration to work on a screen base level. You have radius and strength. Radius you can control with shift and that's pretty much. You can control the strength that it's going to affect how much you move, which is pretty useful to have a strength value for them. And also you have the lift. The lift, if I show with the strength and radius. So the lift, if I move this now, is going to lift them up a lot. This is based on the BDB or the voxel size of the collision. If I show my lift to a really low value, you can see that I can come them really close to the skin. So it's important to be aware of how the lift work because it will give you a really nice effect and also it will give you a nice uh, spread or evenness on the groom with a proper lift. Then we have a randomize that it will randomize the values. You can see here, some of them get more, some of them, of them get less of an effect. Uh, we can constrain the length or we can increase the length while we brush. So let's say that I want to increase the length of this lower part so I can do it without a constraint. And lock roots in place is another of the options. So if I uncheck this, I can actually move my root as you can see. So that's important to know. And the ray bias, again, the one that we saw before, so I can move my roots away if I want and group them on a specific area. So that's something that is important to know about the basic groom setup of the screen brush. I'm going to move right away on the same lesson to the surface brush because they are almost the same. The only difference is that if I don't have a surface selected like this on the screen brush will have worked, here will not because I need to have a surface and this is where the area is going to get projected. So even if I move this, I will just affect the surface that is underneath. So I'm not affecting the actual hairs I'm affecting via surface. So if I do this, you can see that I'm going to affect the tip even if I don't select it. So let me just get a fall off that is the other way around. I'm going to have a sharp one, a flat one. Yeah, flat one will do. So you can see that even the tip gets affected because of the way I'm doing it. And it's because it's based on the surface that I, that I select and not on the screen level. So if I go back into screen level, you can see that it will move there. And if I go to surface brush, it will not move. Now with this, if I go to root in place, I can actually move a single curve. If I select the full curve, uh, I can move it to the place that I want. So that's something that is good to take into account. Again, the ray bias. And that's basically how these two brushes work. Uh, brushes in Houdini can be really odd. 
it, they are odd to work with, but you have Groomber, that is this tool that was created by Call. Let me look for the link. It's this one here. You will find it on Kuwak for uh, his Groomroad. It's amazing. I cannot recommend this enough. It's insane. The tools are amazing and it's one of the best tools that I have ever used for guides in my life. So if you can, if you want to learn properly Houdini, you should, and I recommend you to buy Groomber and to use Groomber for your projects. Your speed is going to be mind blowing and a lot of problems are not going to be there. This is not paid. This is not promotion, like sponsored promotion. This is a real, real deal. Like he, his tool is insane. Now, this was the basic surface brush and the basic screen brush. So I hope you like it and see you on the next one.